Hi, this is Edie. Hi, this is Edith, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video I'm going to go over the Review tab. Uh, the Review tab is very basic here in um, PowerPoint because there's not a lot uh, to review for the most part because it's mostly going to be dealing with graphics. So um, I can do a spell check and you can see here I, I already have that activated and so it's showing me um, that I do have some words spelled incorrectly which is fine. I know that they're spelled correctly for um, the program that I'm, you know, the, the hardware I was talking about. Um, I can also go to a thesaurus, which of course gives you different words, you know, so if I want to find a different word for a program, you know, I can click on my thesaurus and it'll give me all kinds of different of, um, types of words that might work for that. The other thing I can do is check my accessibility. Um, so it will tell me where I might be having some problems with, um, for accessible, um, issues, you know, if I have issues for somebody who's trying to view my document. Um, this is mostly for the vision, vision impaired, uh, just because, you know, it's not going to affect somebody with other types of disabilities in, in that same way. Um, but this will actually allow me to know that there is a problem and where I might be able to fix it. So if I go here and I click on it, you know, it'll tell me um, fix it, why fix it, how to fix it, so that um, you might make it more accessible. Uh, that is definitely your choice. Um, I don't really use the accessibility, but it w might be worthwhile to um, look into it if you have a student who, who might have a vision uh, disability. Um, smart lookup, um, learn about the tax. You select by seeing definitions, images, and other resources from various online sources. Um, you know, so you can um, look more up about it. It's definitely your choice. Um, translate, so if you have some text that's from a foreign language, you can actually use the translator. It might be helpful. I don't always think that it's very helpful. Sometimes I, I see some things that translate and it's kind of really funny or, you know, somebody else from another language might find it funny. So be careful with the translation. Um, of course, you're going to check choose your language, it's going to be English. It does give you um, different options of different languages that you might choose from and of course that's going to be found also in your options menu on your file tab. Um, you can add a new comment. Um, perhaps I say I like you know I like the OIT Oregon Tech um, logo. Thanks for adding it. Um, and so now it becomes a, a, a comment and anybody can reply to it. So if I close this, this will eventually get a um, Let's see, let's show comments. Um, for some reason it's not showing up here, but normally it would. Um, but you can also show comments here. Uh, it should, but it may be because of the color scheme I have. So I wonder if we change it to a lighter color scheme, if it's gonna make a difference. No, but I, I think I have done it on another um, video where it showed up as a comment. So just be aware that it does have that ability. Um, anybody can reply and if they reply it will show up as well. I can also delete the comments or I can go to the previous or next comment if there's multiple comments. And again, show the comments, um, comment pane, that's this here. Okay, you can compare. Compare and combine another presentation with your current presentation. So say I'm working on another presentation. So let's go ahead and open a different one. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go to smart board options. Oh, let's say okay. I know I know where to find them. I, I do know where <laughs> my, my presentations are. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open my Q-Touch one. And um, so let's see if it lets me compare now. So, oh, I would have to do this. Okay, so I can actually merge them together. And because um, it's currently open in a separate window, let's go ahead and close it and try it again. Okay, it wants me to close the dialog box first. 
All right, so let's do this again. All right, so let's go ahead and do the compare. So I can select this one and say merge, and then it'll compare the two slides. And, um, and so I can um, delete this slide. Um, and perhaps um, it's not really giving my much information, unfortunately. Um, so unfortunately on that, um, here, let's go insert. So I can actually insert. So there's that little button right there. You know, you can click on that and maybe delete this one or I want to slide, insert another slide. So that's how you would use the compare. And, um, and then you have the review pane, which is this here. And I can accept the, the changes or I can uh, reject the changes. So I'm going to reject all changes to the presentation right now. Um, my review pane, again, on and off. So that'll be over here. Um, and then I can end review. And then it'll close the um, the comparing document of the Q-Touch. Um, link notes. So what I can do here is, is I can actually link a note from my OneNote a class notebook or my OneNote book. And um, so let's say I want to link something from PowerPoint, my death by PowerPoint. Um, pick a section or page in which to put the item. Okay, so I did that and just say okay. And um, now if I go back to my PowerPoint notebook, uh, let's see if it came in here. So it, I don't see, oh, here it is. Okay, so that's the untitled page. That's the new page that I just created. So I can actually remove the link. It's, oh, it's creating notes, I'm sorry. So if a student's in your class and they can actually link their notes to, they can make a note here and just say, okay, this is my, um, Okay, say okay, and then this is my death by PowerPoint note page. Okay, and then I could take notes. I can even write my notes if I have my um, pen with me. And then um, start taking link notes. Okay. Um, and then link note options. So this will give me some other options that I can work with. Um, I will probably go through that in another video. And then so let's see what happens once I get into my OneNote, see if that changed. So there you have it. Um, death by PowerPoint note page. And so it shows up actually. So this works really well with the um, class notebook. And I'm definitely going to link this video to um, the notebook, uh, class notebook video, because I did not know that was an availability, and now I found out. So this is really very cool. Um, so you can link notes, you can take notes based on this notebook in, through PowerPoint. And I guess um, Word does the same thing. Um, I'm curious. Yes, it does. So if somebody wants to take notes as well on this document, they can as well. So that's your review tab. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, feedback, um, some I didn't cover that you want to see more of, please contact me, edis.warden at oit.edu, extension 51730. And um, you can find me in the Skype directory at um, Edis Warden. Just type my name in and add me as a contact. And I will be glad I am with you, video conference with you, meet with you person to person, however you would like to meet and get more information. I will be glad to help you out with that. Thank you and have a great day. And quick side note, there's that comment box I was looking for. <laughs> okay, have a great day.